Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful. What'd you say, bitch? Oh my god. I'm ready. <laughs> oh my god. We're, we're late. We're. St- oh, I can't hear anything. Hello? God, Randy, you have got to tell us what's recording in case you <laughs> say something that'll get us canceled. I really can't hear anything. Nope. Oh, the power button. Oh, oh, make such a diff. There we go. We're live. Oh, man. I hope we have some material to talk about today. God, I we've know. We've been going hard. Well, we've been doing what? This is our fourth fucking episode in a row. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yep. Today's Tuesday. Um, we, You know what we better do? Clap. And yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. That's a fucking, that's a roller skating party song if I ever heard one. That would get me up on my skates and get me moving. I start hearing, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get transported back to that time I threw a party in my parents' basement and they didn't want to do it because we didn't have a finished basement. And we just were in a party house, and I begged them and begged them and begged them. Next thing you know, freaking UV blues getting guzzled down every gal's <laughs> throat there. Bud lights. And then there's a whole line of gals twerking on a wall. <laughs> Upside down? No, just like our hands against the wall. Ass, 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 And ass. Igor said, what the fuck is going on down here? It got out of control. If you're oh. going to twerk, take your pants off. <laughs> No, there's only going to be like 15, 20 people, I promise. And can we just use the stereo? Next thing you know, 90 people there. 90 fucking people there. 90? Wow, you have a lot of friends. I didn't have hardly any. All these people just started showing up. Everyone's like, party at this person's house. Here's the address. Everyone shows up. There's beer cans everywhere. A couple vomits, you know. What did Svetlana say? They were not pleased. Did she go, oh my God, what is going on? No, she probably just stayed upstairs and was like, oh, my God, I hope none of these people ask me to do their homework. <laughs> <laughs> we are out of fruit cock. We're out of fruit cock, Tina. What, your friends want to eat a fruit roll? <laughs> oh, my God, Tina, Tina's friends. I am so sorry to inform you. We are all out of pickled herring for the <laughs> night. Would anybody like just uh, maybe tuna from can? <laughs> Maybe a pickled uh, radish. We have lots of tea, hot tea. Anybody would like hot tea? If uh, you want iced tea, this is wrong home to come to. <laughs> Go down to another American's home down there and you will find sugar, not here. We don't enjoy the finer things in life here. No, not one bit. That's why our basement is unfinished and the <laughs> ping pong table is not level. <laughs> But this party you, sucks. This uh, ping pong table's not even leveled, bro. I can't, I can't remember exactly what happened, but I'm pretty sure I got in trouble and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I do remember wearing a aquamarine tank top that night, though, from, from Wet Seal. Do you Looking remember Wet cute. Seal? Yeah. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. What a party. Would have loved to have been there to supervise all of the <laughs> underage drinking. <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't have been able to handle it. You would have you would have called the police immediately. Oh yeah. I would you have been dressed have... up like Trunchbull. <laughs> no, there's no way. You'd have been at that party and immediately just been like, This is it. You kids gotta go. You'd be like, Listen, I was hired by the SRO at the <laughs> middle school because I'm a friend of his. Everyone's like, Oh, so you're a cop? No, I'm a friend of his. <laughs> <laughs> you, you basically just give us this long sob story about you having sex with them and how <laughs> you're friends, but you're not like in a relationship. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we get it. That's what me and this guy are like, too. <laughs> yeah, but you guys are 15, all right? I know. I'm a grown ass woman. I so, should be able to have somebody commit to me. So I'm embarrassed for you, ma'am. Listen, if Dale doesn't want to commit to me <laughs> next time, I ask him. <laughs> right. I, I could talk to him when I'm at school or something. 
Oh, would you yeah, put I'm in a good word for me? <laughs> I'm in eighth grade. I mean, I really can't do much, but if you really want me to, I could talk to him because we get a little chummy every now and then. Uh, just tell him, you know, you saw me at the party. I was real good at enforcing no underage the drinking. Law. <laughs> I didn't let anybody take any little tablets of acid. <laughs> I thought it was notebook paper at first. <laughs> Don't tell him that part. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I can I can see what I can do with Dale because I, I he stands outside of my class that I go to for a third period. So I, that's I can, weird. Why does he stand outside your class? Well, he, that's literally just where his post is. It's right next to where my class is. Well, that's weird. No, because he's not. I thought he was in charge of the whole school. That's weird that he stands outside your door. That's. A little sus, I'm going to be honest. No, it's not. He just stands. That's where his post is. He's not just creepily standing outside of there. Well, you said I'm you're a, chummy with him. We're friends. He's an adult, Tina. <laughs> I'm friends with him. That's you know, a little weird. Sometimes I walk by and just slap his gun and pretend to take it out. And you know, I don't know. That's not appropriate. <laughs> I'm not appropriate. Look inside there right now. Look at while you're sitting here chatting with me about your boyfriend problems. There are girls lined up, twerking their little butts off. You see, they all have blue stains on their tank tops. That's from the UV blue vodka they're all chugging. <laughs> well, twerking's not illegal. I do know that <laughs> from SSR handbook. From my S experience with SSRIs. <laughs> SSRIs. I take a lot of SSRIs. I'm only on. Am I? I think I'm only on one. Lexapro. Oh, Zoloft. We're, we're out of the bit now. We're I'm out. A of, Zoloft gal. You, yeah, you have been on Zoloft for a long time. Love the Zoloft, especially when I don't take it a few days and my head goes. Bloop, 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 bloop. Is that the brain zaps? Yeah. When you're kind of like, huh, <laughs> who did that? You're just sitting around, nothing happened. You're like, hey, <laughs> hey. I kind of feel like I'm getting the flu and my head is zapping. <laughs> oh, I got to take my Zoloft. Yeah, I, uh, I did. I take my. I think I did take my medication today. I did. I'm on. I'm on Lexapro and Wellbutrin right now. Ooh, Wellbutrin make your cigarettes taste bad. It, no, not me. <laughs> they don't. They make me. I know. Look at how bad this thing is. We are. You know haggard. what it is? It makes our skin look really oily, and our hair look really oily. We look like freaking uggos. Where's Randy? I bet he's getting his freaky fast Jimmy John's. God, could you imagine like just having that slogan? It just puts so much pressure on you. I think they work it's, with the uh, California psychics and they call and know who's going to order what. And then Randy calls and the dude's already sitting out there because he knows what Randy was going to get 10 minutes ago. Wow. They're working with somebody like Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo. But Miss... She, she passed away, so they're working with just strictly California psychics. Oh, okay. Is that a specific sect of psychics that I'm unaware of? I just saw the commercial for them. We okay. should call them one time. We should invest 20 bucks and call them one time. Let's do it. I'll do it right now. Why not? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's call a psychic place. We've never done that before. Let's call the psychic hotline. Okay. Um. So, do we want to call the California psychics or what? Whoever. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever talked to a psychic? Every time I've talked to one, been horrific. Yeah. So bad. They're so vague and wrong. I paid mm -hmm. like ten dollars for one, and the guy when he finished, it was at the improv shop for El Melanie and Andy's wedding. When he finished, I literally laughed in his face because it was so bad. Maybe it was just for vague. entertainment purposes only. I don't give a fuck. I paid him, so I better get a real <laughs> fucking reading. Damn. Well, I mean, is that too much to ask for? I typed in California Psychic, and it's like California Psychiatric Hospital. <laughs> it knows your algorithm. Phone and chat readings. Should we ask for love, love, love future, business? Okay, let me just pull up their website on the laptop so everyone can see what's going on. It's really funny that Randy just like thinks he can walk away from us right now. For those of you that don't know and aren't watching, Randy's just gone. He just he, walked outside 
He's getting freaky fast with his Jimmy Drones driver. He abandoned his post, and we're in here trying to call psychics. So maybe we'll let him know right at this time is when he needs to place the fucking video <laughs> in the podcast because he ain't here taking his notes. Maybe I'll uh, go. Maybe I'll go fucking write something on his paper. Just right. Go fuck yourself, Randy. On his paper. Oh, his little paper. He keeps his notes. little paper. All right. Go so, fuck yourself. Is this the one you're talking about? California psychics? Yeah. All right. I really hope he's got the computer up because if he don't, he's getting fired. <laughs> he's freaking getting asked. But who else will record us? We can't do it. Dude, you give me all of this equipment and say, <laughs> make your own podcast, bitch. I'm, I'm quitting being a podcast host. <laughs> I'm just going to push done. record somewhere. Okay, so this is the one that you called, California Psychics? Oh, this uh, the one I called was many years ago. It, I don't think it was. Or, I'm sorry, not the one that you called, but the one that you uh, Oh, I like saw. that third lady. She looks like she is psychic. She does. She looks like. Helps callers tap into their spirit. Well, that's good. Okay, so Psychics by Topic. Love, tarot, career. What do you think we should do? Oh, God. Let's do Life Path. Like, that's good. Is it going to be for you, though, or for me? Maybe you, we could do both. A dollar a minute. Great. I'll have to cut her off at one minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Oh, these are the people that are available right now. Nair, A. am going to go ahead and say that's how you pronounce that name is A. I would say it's Nary. Nary away. Helps. Callers tap into their spirit. Oh, deceased loved ones. Don't want to well, hear from them. Oh, God, no. It's like, Randy, do you have the computer or the stuff recording for the computer? Okay, I just want to make sure. I didn't see it. I just want to make sure. We're going to call a psychic hotline, Randy. Yeah, we're going to call a psychic. We're going to see what's in store for our, for our life path. Okay, so... um. Dollar a minute? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and call her. They're going to get my credit card number first, aren't they? Why don't I just give them a call? Need help? Call us anytime. So, if she doesn't know that we're uh, calling, I'm going to be pissed. If she doesn't say, I've been expecting you, I will hang up the phone. Thanks for calling Psychics. Press or say one to continue. One. One. Please press. One. Are you saying W-O-N or say Thanks for calling Psychics. As a new customer, you can speak to a psychic at a special introductory rate. To get started, you must be 18 and have a valid credit or debit card in your name. We will now transfer you to a customer care specialist. Your yeah. conversation with customer care may be monitored and recorded for quality so and training yours. purposes. Boom. However, all conversations with your psychic are private and confidential. Thank God. Good. Thank you for calling psychics. We are experiencing. Thank you for calling psychics. Customer support for your new customer offer. Sorry. What? I said, thank you for calling Psych for your new customer offer. Customer support. <coughs> yes. I don't know if we can put her on without her permission. Oh, you're right. Like it would be illegal. Missouri. Possibly. Missouri is a one. But Missouri is a one party state. I, I got scared and I just hung up. I didn't even, that, that, I, just, free, I just hung up. Free energy, that's all I heard. I got spooked and I hung up. You see how quick, I could never be involved in any sort of real crime. <laughs> Dude, I used to put people on, the, I would record phone calls and shit and put people on after the fact just like that on regular radio, but I didn't give a fuck. It was a company and I didn't fuck it. They would fire me if I got in trouble, big deal. But I don't know. This is y'all. Well, you know so, what? I don't know. I don't know. We can Google it. No, nah, I don't. This is get just getting too crazy. If you, if we have any listeners who are psychics. psychics, call in the next show so we can talk to you and 
will have your per- exclusive permission. And don't be coming in here with this, oh, you could either do this or that. I want to know specifics, okay? What's the difference between a psychic and a medium? Go. Medium talks to the D-E-A-D, the dead. The D-E-A, the Drug Enforcement <laughs> Agency? <laughs> yep, talks to dead people. That's the difference. Okay, so a medium only talks to dead people. As far as I know. Because they're kind of like, well, I wouldn't say that I'm totally sure. I am medium sure (laughs) that I'm talking to someone. I think it means you're a a medium between the living and the dead. Yeah, I get it. (laughs) Yeah, it's like a mediator or a medium. It's like media. Um. (laughs) (laughs) Can you put someone on a podcast without... Without killing them, I mean... Their permission. Well... We probably can't. I'm pissed. Like that. That's I, a, w- I wanted to know my life path. Now I'll never know. I mean, it's... So I've talked... I've spoken to that one before. The one at the last year at the wedding. And like I said, just her horrible. Most vague statements ever. I think they told me I was weak or something. I can't remember. And you were like... The fuck, bro? I go, oh, yeah? You want to see these guns? Do you? And I did this. And he goes, no. And I still took all of my clothing off and flexed my arm. He goes, "We, you don't have any guns on you. I can see right through you. <laughs> Gordon P. Firemark. Little officers of Gordon P. Firemark. I, um, I don't know. I just, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It's you know, like I've seen I've seen the movie Ghost, okay? With my friend Whoopi Goldberg, mm-hmm. Demi Moore, and Patrick Swayze, the late R.I.P. Swayze. The late Swayze. Like the late we're writing Swayze. an article about him. The late Swayze influenced Tina D ball comedian. As a dancer. Yeah. I mean that movie slapped dude and i think it made me believe in the power of love i think i really do because i watched that movie pretty young my big movies when i was younger was pretty woman and ghost and i mean ghost just oh man it really got me going that scene when they're in the subway and he's trying to learn how to move stuff and the guy (laughs) that looks like fucking uh, guy got, what's his name? Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Do you know who I'm talking about <laughs> yes. in the movie? Yeah. He looks like a zombie. And I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I think, honestly, that guy's bio, when he's, like, going out to get acting jobs, he's like, uh, look kind of like a zombie or a dead guy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't... I saw Ghost in the movie theater. Did you? Ghost. Cast. Boy, I cried my eyes out. I bet you you did. When did you cry? In the beginning when he got got, when he got stolen, when he got his life stolen from him and that nice little orb soul came out of him? No, I I know I cried for sure at the end when the one tear came down from Demi's eye. Oh, how could you not? It's epic. And uh, probably some other parts too. Okay, so this cat, (laughs) remember he's the one in Ghost. He looked, you know. He's just got a he look. He's got a face of a basset hound. He's got an interesting look. Let's say that. That's what I'm saying. I'm. Not, I don't think he's an ugly Vincent guy or anything. Chevelli. But he looks dead. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not mad at him for it. I bet he's gotten a lot of work because of it. He. It's. But he's also multifaceted because he looks dead, like a zombie, <laughs> also like a basset hound, all at the same time, and then. You put a fedora on him like that, he looks like a rich guy that's about to, you know. Buy a yacht. We're going on a yacht, and he's inviting you. And guess what? You never say no to a zombie asking you to get on a yacht. (laughs) I would. No, I I would too. Pretty scared of zombies. But yeah, I mean, this guy's just, he's got the look. See here, he looks like a cool, nice grandpa. (laughs) Oh, check it out. I've got a pipe in my mouth and lots of money from the movie Ghost. (laughs) <laughs> oh, there he looks like a waiter. So that's nice. He looks, yeah, he looks like he's about to wait on some tables. Hi, can I take your order? He's like, hello, everybody. My name is Vincent Ember. What's the name of the appetizers? Ashmon, Asmor. Accoutramantes. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everybody. My name is Vincent Schiavelli. I was in the movie Ghost, but now I am a actor. And uh, I just would like to 
ask if you guys would like to begin with any Akucha Mantras tonight. And I'd also like by starting off by telling you our specials tonight. We have a surf and turf. Mm -hmm. with uh, It's always a surf and turf, right, <laughs> guys? <laughs> it's, oh. I'm not doing a bit. Uh, we really do have the surf and turf on sale for $19.99. And also we have a hamburger. $19.99. That is really cheap at this nice of a steakhouse. <laughs> well, it is it is our special, so it's on sale. That, I mean, I, I, I'm just going to be honest, Vincent Shiravelli. Um, and I love that you came to our table and just gave us your first and full name. Yes. It's a really, really good power move. I don't think I've ever introduced myself to anyone at a restaurant with my full name. So well, I, I really like that. And we, I'm not making fun of you, we even do though you look dead. different here at Ardell's. <laughs> that, I am ready for it. I'm here for it. Um, so that's great. So a surf and turf. What's the soup of the day? Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, soup du jour. The soup du jour is actually, let me look at my thing here. It says, oh, it is soup du jour today. That's what we're having. Okay, but there is a soup du jour. Yeah, it's uh, the it's it's a soup du jour. Okay, I um, think it's a French soup. Maybe a fr it, it is. There is a soup. Maybe though. an onion in there. There yeah. is a soup du jour. Yes, it's, it is and called, it's called soup, soup du jour. Su it says on my little thing. It has you know surf and turf, and it says soup of the day. It says soup du jour. Sounds great. Uh, we'll probably have a couple of those, but let's go through the rest of the specials. I know that there are a lot of things. What is the veggie, uh, the veggie du jour uh, of the, the day? The, we have a veggie plate today with celery and parsley. <laughs> That's all. Oh, great. Is there a sauce or anything served with that? It says, uh, no, just it's a la carte. Okay, it's on so a cart somewhere. <laughs> So it's just strictly celery and parsley. Is it right. fre fresh fresh parsley from uh, a garden nearby, or is it just like dried from a it doesn't from say. a shaker? So I should just go ahead and assume that it's dry. And according to this picture, it looks like the parsley is just uh, decoration. So it's just a plate of celery. Okay, got it. And no, it, it no ranch, nothing. Oh, we don't have ranch here. Okay, great. That's awesome. We do have buttermilk ranch, though. Oh, okay. I actually didn't know there was. I I was under the impression that when you ask somebody somebody if that there's a ranch at a place, that you would just you would just say uh, yes and not have to specify. Oh no, like, we don't have ranch, <laughs> but we do have buttermilk ranch. Oh, okay. Um, great. So that's good. So we what have we gone through? Uh, we've gone through the soup du jour. We've gone through the veggie du jour, uh, which it sounds really lovely. Um, uh -huh. let's see what other kind of, we have a gluten free, where'd you go to high school? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Where'd you go to high school? Desters, Desters, Desters. Hmm. Is that some, is that a near Oban, Texas? Uh, yeah, actually it is. It's, um, interesting. It was a high school. Desters. Desters. That's cool. We just called it high school. We didn't say the name of it. Oh, you didn't? No, we just said high school. Interesting, because when I went to my high school for the day, we would actually say, I would be like, I wouldn't say I'm going to school. I would say, I'm going to my high school. Right. Aletha East High School. No, we I would, would just say, say that I'm going to high school. <laughs> Mom, I'm headed off to high school, is oh, what I would say. Oh, you would. Okay. Yeah, I would say, uh, surrogate or current guardian mm -hmm. my mom left when i was young so it oh. would just kind of be whatever guardian okay was yeah. there or whatever yeah, yeah. i know you have other tables do you need to get back to them or are you I enjoying would, i just need to finish the specials here okay yeah so just keep going through those that sounds really great this we is fun have a uh, i'm here alone obviously as you can tell because no one's sitting at my table yeah, but i uh, noticed that i asked them to bring me three waters because i love water oh well I'll, i have water Ready at any time. That is so cool. I have a little uh, That's pew really pewter cool. jug of a water. A pewter jug. Wow. Uh, it's uh, looks like we have a plate of peanuts ah. for people that are... Shell like, uh, shell on or off? Uh, in the picture, it's shell on. You got b boiled just peanuts? A, just a roasted nut. Okay. Um, And they were roasted in-house? Or... Not at my house. <laughs> Um, Probably here at the restaurant. I didn't. I'm do you not think they were, or home. you know, I did see something with a Kirkland logo on it earlier. You think they maybe have gotten those from Costco and are are falsely packaging them? Good, maybe because I have. 
I don't deal with the shipping or, or anything. Sure. I, I simply just come here, talk to you, see what you want, and then I will go to the back and give my, I have this little paper, and I'll give it to them, and they see what people want. Hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, all right. So we've got not. Uh, are there any more specials? What do we have? What do we have for in, in the dessert aisle? Oh, in the dessert lane. You're gonna love this. It is. Uh, looks like a cheesecake. It's made out of actual Swiss cheese, though. It's different. Wow, that it's is Swiss cheesecake. Interesting. I've actually never heard of that, and it's still topped with a raspberry topping. No, or the the strawberry. Oh, it's just a big. It's so. It has a. It says fruit topping. Fruit topping. So, do we know what kind of fruit that makes? It it's up? red. No? It looks okay, red. Okay, it looks red. So, I'm going to go out on a limb and just here, hold on a second. Let me get my wallet out. Putting five bucks down that it's cherry. What are you putting down? Are you putting down money? Uh, I'm thinking maybe blueberry. You're, You're going to go put with five blueberry. On blueberry. You're going to put five on blueberry. Yep. Let's, ask, let's ask everyone else in here if they want to put bets down on it. Anybody else want to get on on this bet? Nope. All right. <laughs> that man with his wife just told me to shut the fuck up. That was really weird. You That's know. my boss, actually. Um, oh. He's the manager. Okay. <clears throat> oh, he's a boss and the manager. Yeah, he owns the place. So, Ardell's. does he make you call him boss, comma, manager? Yes, boss manager. Yeah, sorry. That's got to be rough. Sore subject. It's just <laughs> a lot of words. <laughs> you know, because I used to be an actor, and no. right, here I am now. I get it. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure I saw you in a... Ghost. It was Ghost. You probably saw me in Ghost. That's what it oh, was. Oh, it's a funny looking dead guy in Ghost. But the thing is, I'm not dead. I'm alive. Well, I see that. You're you're right here, raw in the flesh. But many I, um... people say, oh, you're that dead guy. I was, I was just playing a dead guy. I wasn't really dead. That's the thing. People are like, oh, you're the dead... I was not dead. I was alive, and I still am alive. Is it cool, is it cool if we vape, vape in here? There's no vaping in here. Okay, you great. can smoke though. Could That's I... fine. What's so funny? <laughs> Sorry, it's just the irony. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> I could be an actor. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I, really. I, if, I, if one piece of advice I give to you: don't play a dead guy because you'll be known as the dead guy forever and ever and ever. Sure. And then after you're dead, they'll still call you. <clears throat> dead guy and um you never were alive to anyone yeah no that makes sense for sure it's kind of like the guy in 30 rock that played the like weird zany guy not 30 rock what show am i talking about space aliens ooga booga 30 rocks from the sun yes 38 rocks from the sun that's 38 skipping rocks <laughs> from the sun that's what i'm talking about ah uh, you know he played a weird zany guy boom never got cast anything again yeah, some Just people. Weird some people said he uh, was on the spectrum. That's what I hear some people say. Guess what? Fooled me. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool you twice, you'll always be the dead guy. No, yeah, that. I mean, listen. Let me level with you, Vincent. <sighs> Why wow, you remember my name? Yeah, you. People never remember. Vincent, they just refer Vincent, me as the zombie dead guy. Vincent Cavallari. Well, it's actually Chevelli, but uh, yeah, you Vincent got my Cavallari. first name right. And especially a woman, a woman hasn't talked to me this long in, frankly, years. Really? Not even my mom. So when you were on set with Demi Moore, she never talked to you. you didn't want nothing to do with me. That's crazy. It's like, who does she think she is just because she has a short haircut? Right. People she, with people with short haircuts, they got this thing about them. You know what I'm saying? They got this thing about them. They just, they think they're better than everyone because it takes them less time to style right. their hair. That's, and then- I got, got one thing and one thing only to say about her. This is a little insider information. No way. You know the iconic one tear? Yeah. It was glycerin. She wasn't even crying. It was glycerin. Yeah, they used a little dauber and put glycerin right on her lid. And then when it fell. It dribbled down. You know, I was thinking that because a tear kind of goes in the middle of her right. eye, doesn't it? Right. It's not, you know, if somebody's actually crying right. like I am regularly. Right. <laughs> Same. That usually comes out of the corner of your eye and dribbles down. It's not going straight from the middle. Well, I have all kinds of tears depending on why I'm crying. If I'm happy, that it generally comes from the outside. If I'm sobbing, it comes from all areas of my eyes oh my sure eyes are filled with with tears sure and that that makes sense but it's like that's because it's pooling all around right in that moment with her and like i said i'm an expert 
on crying. I've right. had a I've had a rough go of it, Vincent. <laughs> let me tell you. I mean, me, t- me too. R- had a rough go of it. Never was an actor. Did star in Annie when I was younger. My mom, my not my mom because I she was gone. But my father. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Did you spray painted my hair bright red? What? With spray That's paint. commitment. I never had to sp- spray paint my hair. I just went in there natural. They said, no, you don't even need makeup. Oh, no, because you just look dead. You was dead as possible. They were like, we need a guy that looks dead. And you were perfect. And, you know, I get it. Uh, you know, but I'm not judging you. That's the thing. Just because you look dead doesn't mean you are dead. No, my soul's not dead. No, it's vibrant. It is shining through your bright white, white enriched flower shirt. Tuxedo. Tuxedo. Tux. I'm wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> it is and just, a cummerbund. You can't a, see that part. What's but a I, cummerbund? Well, it's the part down here. This little belt part that just covers ah, your, your it almost, midsection. It almost looks like one of those things you put on when you're a mover, so you don't hurt your back. Yeah, or kind of like a fanny pack, but no pack. Got it. Well, yeah. I mean, it's honestly crazy. I wore slippers here. You did? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing slippers. Oh wow, those are really cute too. Nobody said a thing. That's why I'm wearing boot cut pants. If you wear boot cut <laughs> pants, sometimes people can't even see what kind of shoes you have on. Sometimes people can't even see if you do have shoes on. That's so a, this is great. Are those low rider uh, boot cut? No. Oh. Not, I not, was like this. They're not not low rider, but they're not high waisted. You know what I mean? They're mid rise. I really mid-rise. Yeah, always like those. You like the low rider the ones? hip bone. You got a knife? I'll cut the top off of them. <laughs> Are you coming on to me? No. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I am. It's crazy. Are you a necrophiliac? Because <laughs> that's usually what I get. People that want to fuck a, a dead, dead, uh, I'm saying too much. I had a couple of. Necros? I had a couple of cups of that soup du jour and man, I think the chef put wine in it today. Feeling a little zany? Feeling a little. <laughs> mm. Well. I mean, yeah, I guess I should eat or something. I yeah, can... what 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 can I get you? Let me just, I'll just, I just can't stop staring at your beautiful eyes, though. <clears throat> They're so alive. <clears throat> it's crazy, you know? I know, I don't know, I saw this thing, like, there's a pottery class they're doing at the uh, community college, if you. Oh, yeah? I've taken a couple classes up there, I did a. Band? Uh, no, it was intro uh, to band. Learn how to do switchboards. Mm. Very old timey switchboards. Oh, a switch like a. So you were a DJ? No, like I answered the phone and said hello. Thanks for calling five six seven eight one. And then the teacher would say connect me to four seven eight two. So then I'd take the string thing and put it in a <laughs> different hole. Wow, switchboards that's, is wild. See, only a dead guy would know that. <laughs> Just and also kidding. took you're some not dead. You're antiquing uh, train glasses mm. i learned how to take your train set and antique it okay yeah so it's pretty cool i took a uh shop class there cool. and it's not what you're thinking they taught me how to go shopping <laughs> wow. that is cool so it was i mean i just straight up learned how to go shopping for anything etiquette what you should do yeah. one thing i did learn there is if you're getting too close to somebody with your shopping cart you better slow it down because if you get their ankles, they could Ooh. they could fall yeah, and, and injure themselves. And that would be a lawsuit on the store, not you, though. So it really wouldn't be a big deal. So you were saying something about a, po- a pottery class. Is it one of those classes where it's partners and one sits behind the other and helps you mold? Something like that. I think uh, that, so what I was thinking about saying, because it does say, uh, pottery class for you to learn but i was thinking about saying like maybe like oh i have a siamese twin <laughs> uh, yeah um i i don't know a lot of stuff but i know that siamese twin maybe is an offensive term these days oh uh, it is you might want to say conjoined twin or oh, oh wow <laughs> uh some other word besides siamese okay great oh <laughs> fuck uh, yeah did uh, not know that Honestly, had no idea. And you know what? Here's the great thing about that kind of stuff. You tell someone, they understand, they learn, and they'll never say it again. Yeah, just just, so, just, just don't say it again. Just a yeah. conjoined twin. Because we actually have a conjoined uh, tw- twin set that works here. And okay, that's... They do wow. The- I bet they're double the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, pottery yeah. class. I'm just looking for somebody to stand behind me. Oh, I, w- I would definitely keep an ear out for somebody if, if I hear, oh, I want to take a pottery class. I'll say, I met this old gal. And mm-hmm. um, not old, you know, old, old gal. Because you're not old. You're at least 50. Yeah, no, I'm, I I mean, I have, a, I don't have short hair, but <laughs> I am, I am a seasoned. How, how old are you? 57. Wow, I was low, I blow bold. I was going to say 70, but I. Whoa. I don't wow. know. I, you know. Okay, I, well. This, um, this is why I don't have a girlfriend. You think that, uh, yeah, so I'll have the soup du jour, and then here's what I'm going to do, Vincent. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. When you walk back there, yeah, you turn around. I'm gonna expose my breast. Oh, uh, and it, you know, just it'll be far away, so it's not gonna be anything, any cause for alarm. So I'll make sure your boss manager doesn't see it. I'll do, you know, like when you tell somebody a secret mm-hmm. and you cover your mouth, I'll, I'll cover that side of my breast. Just one boob, yeah, just one breast because okay. I don't want to cause a scene or anything like that. And then I'm gonna leave my freaking phone number here <laughs> on this table. After I dine and dash you. How's that sound? So, <clears throat> well, but I'll have the soup to shore <laughs> and my breasts will be out momentarily. Okay, but um, <clears throat> dining dashes, I'm responsible for those. So, oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean like dine and dash, like I'm going to run out. I meant like I'm going to dine and dash you, like I'm going to, I'm going to eat real fast and then get out. Yeah. Just eat real fast okay. and get out. Okay. I'm paying. Don't worry. I have money. I can pay. I'm not even worried about that. All right. So I'm going to go back there. You see that little window over there where they put the <laughs> food? I'm going to go back there and just stand. You get a peek motionless there. <laughs> at, at you for a while. All right. Thanks, Vincent. Th- what was your name again? Oh. You never even told me. That is, uh, you know what? That is so crazy. I did not. My name is Alice in in Wonderland. The last name is I N W U N D E R L U N D. It's kind of a Swedish thing. Uh, Alice so, in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. Wow, I like that. Thank uh, you. I'll I'll get your soup du jour out moment. Yeah, make sure to stand there for a few minutes. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand in that little window and look. Yeah, just look out of that little thing. It's almost like, ooh, God, are you in prison? And then and then the little they'll have there's will be like a stick with a bunch of receipts on it. Mm-hmm. I'll move that aside. Yeah, move that aside so you can get a really good view, Vincent. But I'm not going to get under the heat lamp because I'll get way too hot, especially looking at your titty. No. <laughs> oh, wow. <Ooga. laughs> oh, man. This has just been really fun. Well, Vincent, it's, it's been nice meeting you. It's been really nice meeting you. Thanks so much, Vincent. And the, the thing I said about Demi Moore and the, and the tear, don't, don't tell anybody. Oh, I'm not going to tell anyone. Don't even worry. Because, you know, she hated me. No, no problem. <laughs> she kept saying, get that dead guy away from me. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to have, you got to be a special kind of person. And I studied mortuary school briefly. <laughs> so I actually totally like <laughs> dead people don't make people that look dead, people that are dead. Any of that doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. So, I mean, <laughs> oh, I've kind of, I've kind of lucked out uh, and you've kind of lucked out by meeting me. So. Vincent, again, so great meeting you. And right, nice meeting you. I'm just going to sit here and wait for you. And then a couple minutes later, another waiter comes up and he's like, can I take your order? And he's gone. <laughs> he's been dead the whole he's, time. You're no. like, my, my waiter, Vincent, he took my order. Vincent's been dead for 15 years. What are you talking about? I'm showing him pictures, <laughs> this exact picture right here. Like, no, I literally, they're like, no, ma'am, we've actually been watching you and you, you exposed your breast. To no one. <laughs> to literally no one and waved. We thought you were Our, crazy. You've just been talking to yourself for 15 minutes. <laughs> Our kitchen manager, Juan, is honestly really concerned. He was over here, like, grabbing the tickets and looked over and just saw your breast rest and you were kind of hiding it <laughs> but weirdly was only angled towards him in that window so yeah uh, yeah that's that's really weird because when vincent worked here he would often stand in that window and peer out at customers but like <gasps> i said vincent's been gone for 15 years what a psych how did that even ju- like i just am sitting here having a moment in real life where i'm like we just did 20 minutes improvising <laughs> Off of this dead guy from Ghost. <laughs> and maybe maybe he, he'll hear this. I hope he does. And he'll say, and what I think, the fuck? I think he would think it's funny. You know? 
I do. He'd say, why do you got to talk about the way I look? Why can't you talk about my character? I don't know you. So all I can do is talk about the way you look. Everybody looks unique, Vincent Chevelli. But yeah, take me for instance. I don't even have a top lip. Okay, take me for instance. I got a mole on my lip. (laughs) I got a mole on my lip. (laughs) Take me for instance. I'm gorgeous. I'm the most (laughs) beautiful person ever. You know, take just just take me for instance. I got the stinkiest feet in town. (laughs) I love that Vincent was dead the whole time. Of course he was, and we didn't show the knife. Improv 101. Did we have a couple of mistakes during that improv scene? If you're looking at it from a technical standpoint, like say you work at a community college teaching improvisational comedy. Yeah, maybe. We might have said no or yes to the, whatever. Might have said no to a couple things. But overall, we held the knife. We held the knife. We didn't expose it. And that way, we were able to come full circle <laughs> and Vincent was dead the whole time. I didn't expect it. I didn't either. To be honest, I was like, how are we going to wrap this Until up? Until he I walked scared. away and then I was like, oh, he's, he's dead. dead. I did too. I knew it right then. But I was scared. I was like, oh man, he's like a struggling actor. <laughs> I was scared during that scene. I really was. Whoa. Not you the whole time. You didn't trust your gut hole. I didn't. At you one didn't point, trust I'm like, me as your improv partner. No, see, and that's uh. the problem, man. That's why I didn't make the house team. Just kidding. I didn't audition for one. <laughs> That's probably why you didn't make it then. Yep. But, wow, that was killer. Support for Slop City is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in below-the-waist grooming and hygiene. Ladies, dudes, people, men, not children, listen up. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for you and your man's jewels. Woo! For any women out there who have come across a hairy bush, yours or another's, you're now in luck. Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming, have just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the, the Lawnmower, Lawnmower 4.0. 4.0. Yep. 4.0. Daddy 4.0. Make sure your man, your women, your whomever joins the 4 million people worldwide who already trust Manscaped, all right? With this exclusive offer for you, join us. You're going to get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code RANCH at manscaped.com. Our code again, that is RANCH. Use the code RANCH. <laughs> Ranch. <laughs> Use our code ranch at manscaped.com. <laughs> Use our code ranch at manscaped.com. My favorite part of the lawnmower 4.0 is that you can take it into the shower with you. Ooh. Because I don't want those errant hairs Mm-mm. all over my floor or zinc. My zinc. Mm. I don't want them errant hairs on my zinc. And that's why we do that shit in the shower. It's water. Proof, daddy, you can't beat that. Simple, easy, trim that bush, trim that shrub, trim Trim that oak tree, your balls, your buddy's balls. You know, you could trim your buddy's balls if you want or your partner's balls. And we're coming out of on springtime here, your your area, your private parts are coming out of hibernation. Mm -hmm. Don't be coming out of hibernation with a full-blown bush. No. It's spring. You should just be sprouting. You... (laughs) You come out of winter and into spring with your freaking your freaking area looking like a willow tree. Not anymore, brother. Not with the lawnmower 4.0, okay? And that with 20% off with our offer and free worldwide shipping with World the code RANCH. Thank you. Your hoops are sexy, brother. Didn't we do uh, some uh, something in the very beginning? No. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh no, we were just talking about. You fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about uh, psychic stuff. Oh, that's right. Psychics that's right. versus mediums. I mean, I have a like Miss Cleo 
because she was the first TV psychic, wasn't she? She was the number one, the mamma jamma. Ooh, she's the first one I knew of. My Psychic Solutions. Thanks for calling My Psychic Solutions. We know you're here. Let's just check out some reviews of some psychic places. I bet there's some really good ones. Let me get my glasses, Barbara. When I say wow, I mean it. I gave her a first name only, and I couldn't believe what I was hearing, honestly. So extremely accurate and telling. I was having major anxiety about a relationship, and ever since I talked to her, I felt, quote-unquote, different. different. I gained so much clarity. I wish I could give her 100 stars. Well, that's not a choice. You only get five. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. Like, if you gave her 100, then it kind of, like, diminishes all the other ones. So that's why it's generally on a scale of one to five. Five bags of diarrhea, you rate it on a scale <laughs> of that. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, go to that one back up there because it has a response from the psychic. Oh, that's good. Okay. I was in St. Louis visiting a friend and wanted to take her to do something fun and out of our comfort zone. LOL. (laughs) After reading great views for Juliana, I decided to book an appointment. She gave us the choice of a phone, virtual, or in-person reading. I thought it was great she could do all. We decided to each get one hour readings in person. I honestly could not have better things to say about Juliana. She was amazing. She was so comforting when a tough subject came up, and I just can't believe how much she knew. I'm so happy she offers phone readings as well. Look no further. And then she just wrote back, thank you so much. I'm glad I could help and make your visit special. I'm always here, she says. What if what if Juliana just called her phone right now? I would literally flip this table over <laughs> and leave. And whoa. whoa, we ain't reading all that. We got a long one and two stars. That sounds a little dramatic. Jesus Christ. Very unprofessional. Ooh. Mm. You know what's unprofessional? You going to a psychic expecting <laughs> something crazy. Wait, go back up to the unprofessional one. <laughs> Whoa. You are not my client. Roasted. Got roasted <laughs> by a psychic. And she already knows you're not her. La, 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 la. Man. Well, my psychic solution. Thanks for calling my psychic solutions. That's all I had to say about that. Oh, okay. Very close. <clears throat> Gray Witch Tarot. Yeah, that's fucking intense. What? The name? Randy, what'd you get from fucking Jimmy John's, brother? A veto without the nasties, which are tomatoes and onions and Ed Hell Puppers. So basically, you Barbecue just got chips. meat and a piece of lettuce? Well, some meats and some peppers <sighs> and some lettuce. I am a beach goth or beach club person. That's who I am when I go there. You know me. I love the avocados. I like the... uh... But I do love a good traditional Italian sandwich. I can't remember which one I like. You give me some tomatoes, onions, mayo, mustard, salami, lettuce. Ooh, some vinaigrette. Ooh. Ooh, vinaigrette. Ooh. Literally, my mouth is watering right now. That's how much I love an Italian Sammy. Ooh. Never forget Quiznos. They used to have the best one. They have Quiznos in Denver. Well, why don't you ask Harry to get me a Sammy, put it in a nice little cooler, <laughs> ship it to me, because I don't think they have any Quiznos out here. They don't. That's when I saw it, I almost shit my pants. Just like that. <laughs> Timing's impeccable. That's, oh, damn. that's That's comedy, is timing. Knowing when... Knowing when to, I'm just when to press the, long the stupidest rip. things in the world right now. The long rip. Whose rip is that long one? I think it's Scott Schaefer. <laughs> so I have a, this one. And a one and a two. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Somebody fought it. Oh, mm. oh! you know what? I actually do think I have a couple farts to play on the podcast. So why don't we wrap this episode up with that? Because things 
Um, okay, let me just find a couple farts. Okay. Just looking for some farts. Just looking for some farts. You can tell that we're just mentally exhausted. I know. From, um, oh, here we go. All right. <laughs> so this person wrote, hey, honeys, longtime slop citizen here. I'm sending you guys a stinky little fart for the soundboard. <laughs> LOL, you ladies are hilarious, and I'm super glad to have this pod to listen to every week. And also, thanks, Randall R. Cash, for making all these farts possible. Love you guys, Sam. All right, let's, making all these farts let's hit this possible. stinky little fart. That's the name of it, for sure. Cool. I uh, don't know what happened. Am I? What? Why can't I hear the fart? Can't be stinky. Oh, let good. me hear that stinky little fart. <laughs> okay. Uh. So you need help? No, I just I don't think there's a fart. <laughs> <laughs> what are you pressing? I'm dead ass serious. I just clicked it. Press play. Turn your volume up. My volume's up, okay? I'm not uh, some little freaking child. Turn your child. volume sound on. I did turn it on. Silent but deadly? That person tricked us. It was hooked up to my AirPods. God, <laughs> I hate myself. Yeah, you acted like you knew what was going on. It was hooked up to my AirPods, which I have, thanks to Libby. All right, here we go. Yeah. Stinky little fart, round seven. <laughs> that sounded like someone trying to start a lawnmower. 100%. For a little bug, a little bug's lawnmower. It sounds like it's, a taser. No, yeah, it sounds like a taser or like, you know, when you go to get like your tire, they take your tires off of the car shop. They go, wow, wow, wow. Who's that fart from? Oh, this cat named Sam. Oh, my God. It's a laugh. It's a laugh. What's it called? A gun? Sound of uh, taking tire bolts off. That's exactly tire what it sounds bolts. like. Loose lug nuts. Wah, wah, wah. I think. Sorry. Oh. Oh my God. No. Worst video ever. You know what? I'm freaking done with technology today. I can't do the fart sound. I can't get my phone to You work. want me to do it? It's hooked up to my fucking AirPods. I'm just looking for the fucking sound of when it goes. Because listen to this fart, everybody. One more time. <laughs> the laugh. I love how hard they begin to laugh. Can't spell. What's an air gun? Well, it's air controlled. Dude, I swear. You, oh, my 10 year old removing lug nuts. Danger. <laughs> we can't show this kid on the podcast. Nope. 
<laughs> very similar. Very similar. Oh, yeah. We definitely can't show them on the podcast, but we can have the sound. Because it always says, are there children in the video? Yeah. And it's like, no, we don't have any. Well, no. Well, we don't, but. We're infertile. Oh, God. I wow. hope I'm infertile, man. I hope so. I hope people can just keep blowing loads in me for the rest of my life and I just won't get people. prego. People. Yeah, I mean, you know, just I'm saying that as like a statement. I'm telling Roth. You better not. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's still playing. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely have to send that part to Randy. Um, <laughs> that is a really, really good one. That is really good. Ooh, someone sent us three farts. Let's, Whoa. And these are, this is a good time. We get to catch up on farts from the podcast that I've forgotten about. This was sent to us May 9th, 2021. <laughs> That's how far behind in the fart game we are. This person's got three, and they named this one Blast. Was that a duck? My favorite part is when I go to play them, you can see where, like, the sound blasts up. And I'm like, oh, it's coming. Here, let's hear the blast one more time. That was a duck. Yeah, that's a duck for sure. Thank you so much, Amber, for the blast one. Now we got a trumpet one. (laughs) (laughs) The funniest part to me is that there's so many different people in the world and so many different kinds of farts that come out of their buttholes. This person's got a style, though. (laughs) They do. I mean, they all do sound different in a way, but there's a style for all of them. They did to me. All of those last three toots sound a lot like they're they're clenching and holding on, like they're like tight butthole. No, (laughs) and it just slips on out. The fact that people put their phones by their buttholes to record sounds for us is. Unreal. Incredible. Okay, we got one more fart. Actually, we got a couple more, and this is great. So here we go. This one's why my farts sound robotic or like it's from Pong or something. Enjoy. Love, Brandy. (laughs) (laughs) The clap. What is wrong with us? Honestly, a lot. Open your mouth. Let's go. A concerned (laughs) fart. Same person, Brandy. It says, enjoy, with a little poop emoji. And then it says, ranch. (laughs) (laughs) That's got a trumpet vibe, for sure. That's a tight butthole. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) All right, and that is going to be all the farts we have right now. <laughs> so, I'm all farted out. That's all the farts we've got. Thank you to everybody that's sending their farts in. Keep sending them to us. Send them in a Slop City podcast at gmail.com. Like, if you've got a really, really good fart that you just know needs to be heard, <laughs> send it to us. We want to hear them. I had a fart last night that was like, sounded it was out of this world. It went for 10 solid seconds. <laughs> and then I started laughing so hard because it was going so long. And it kept go- It was like, do, 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 while I was laughing. So <laughs> send us your farts, y'all. We love you. And send us your hearts. Send us your farts and your hearts to slopcitypodcast at gmail.com, y'all. Yeah. Have a blessed day. Y'all have yeah. a really blessed day. Love yous. Love yous. And... Oh, but he mixed two together to create one. Damn. <laughs>